So we are going to check out the now closed Central Avenue Bridge over I-35. Holy cow, there's a lot of construction over there. And it's just down the street from our little radio station. So now all of us have to learn new ways to get to the radio station in the morning and to get home at night. But uh, basically, as uh, Aaron uh, told all of our US 105 listeners in the news a couple days ago, uh, yeah, they've got uh, big changes right here uh, off of West Adams as you cross into uh, over 35 and uh, heading towards downtown Temple. And uh, Aaron has uh, been in Temple much longer than your buddy Wes. I'm still uh, wet behind the ears as far as finding my way around. But I do know what a major change this construction is. That's why we're filming it for you right now. So here we are at West Airport Road right in front of Dynasty Buffet. And this is pretty much uh, where the detour starts uh, a little bit down to our left. And we'll uh, kind of take you through and uh, let you see exactly what the changes are as you go over 35 now. Get out of your way so you can see. There we go. So as you can see, uh, Airport Road ends when you get down here. You can see the uh, road close signs and they're not any letting anyone proceed towards what used to be uh, the main entrance to uh, 35 going south from uh, Airport Road and, and West Adams. So basically, right in front of our buddy Big Zach's Tire Shack, He's an awesome fix-a-flat guy, by the way. Good old Big Zach. Um, you turn right here, and you can see by 5 o'clock there's going to be a lot of delays here. And there's going to be people just waiting in line to kind of get fed through and uh, back on to 35 or over to the other side of, uh, of downtown Temple. So you will not be able to pursue or proceed down Airport Road. Excuse me. They're going to move you over here on this little jog past our uh, friends at the tire shop. And you ever gotten a tire fixed in there? No, I have not, but... Uh, have you ever got a haircut at Old Barber up here? No, I need to frequent this place more often. <laughs> I can well, use the haircut. spending possibly. a lot of time here waiting, so... <laughs> <laughs> a lot to talk about. Hmm. <laughs> you may be able to get in there and say hi. So as you can see, now we've got the traffic merging on uh, what is uh, West Adams here and uh, the folks coming out who can no longer get down airport road we're all merging together right here this is where there's going to be you just got to figure a lot of slowdowns and a lot of delays as the volume builds during a.m and p.m drive stop signs here for both uh, sets of cars so everybody's stopping it'll make it a little easier to get out of there as if it wasn't controlled so you want to get on 35 you head to the right you want to get to downtown temple you're going over the bridge this, this is, is so weird. This doesn't <laughs> feel natural. I'm sorry. This is just... You know, I spent the whole last year coming the opposite way over this bridge. So this part is a little interesting, but it's not like you're going up an exit ramp to get on or something like that. Uh, I suppose it could be that. a little bit weird. Here you go. Yeah, it's all divided up. <laughs> so everybody in this lane coming up this way towards the McDonald's and uh, the folks who want to head uh, west are coming business as usual like you're going towards Gatesville up here. So now this road used to be coming in the opposite direction. Now it's gonna take everybody over to the right, and then you will be back to, if you were heading east before all this happened, this would have been how you came over the bridge. So just kind of trying to lay out a map. Uh, when all these road changes happen, things are brand new, and it's easier sometimes for people to be prepared when they can actually see uh, the changes on the roadway. Yep, nobody coming up over that. <laughs> So now, that is the new short long way uh, to get up here to Starbucks and uh, McDonald's and downtown, like when you need to go see the folks for your new tags on your plates and all that stuff. And as you can see there, that 35 exit ramp, that's still, that's still open to people coming up this road. They're getting off the highway back there. So getting over to the right here to get on the 31st, obviously it's an option, but it's gonna be a challenge. So plan an alternate route or just be prepared to drive very carefully <laughs> yeah this is this is gonna uh test some patience a little bit as we get into the uh warm and dog days of summer and everything uh aaron i don't uh honestly have not heard when that work will be completed have you heard about how long this i mean are we looking at the end of the year or in a media release uh we got from text dots jody wheatley he said it could be the rest of this year uh in fact one early announcement i saw of the closure said february of last year <laughs> Or, sorry, next year, February of next year, but uh, I hope it's not that long. <laughs> but they've done this so that they could work on both of the new bridges at the same time and save everybody headache later. But obviously, you know, someone who's lived in Temple for years and years, uh, 
most most of my life. I lived in Troy the first 18, 18 years, so I'm used to driving around here, and uh, this is just really, really bizarre for me. <laughs> and now we'll take you back over it and show you what happens uh, when you try to go uh, towards the west end of town here. Yeah, where do we go from here? This, this is, is uh, a little bit more straightforward, uh, except now you just got a lane of traffic coming at you that we're not used to from uh, <laughs> previous uh, traffic patterns, but... Yeah, it was a project, just to try to explain it on the air, boy, it's not that easy, so we thought the best thing to do would be just to show you. And uh, now you've seen eastbound, and in just a minute here, when the lights turn, uh, we'll take you westbound. And uh, if you got business in Temple, you work here, you live here, uh, you'll be able to refer back to this and say, look, that's uh, the traffic pattern. And uh, thank you, US 105, for not sending me up the wrong ramp <laughs> or down the wrong direction on the road. Yeah, this is, you know, major... Uh, road work here and a result of it especially when you got two bridges being fixed uh situations like this but if anybody can handle it texas can so let's go west here in just a minute or we can go get coffee because i'm always up for that i say i know you make a starbucks run over there just about every day hourly yeah <laughs> is this uh are you willing to go through all this or are you gonna head west for your starbucks from now and have you decided here is uh uh well yeah you know <laughs> be a little bit of both i think Notably, here, uh, heading westbound, no more stoplight. You want to turn to Starbucks or Whataburger, be our guest, but you can just go straight through this now. There's no light there that stops traffic. And now, this is just like it used to be. We're heading over the bridge. There's one lane dedicated uh, eastbound. We're heading west, and you'll go down the uh, Gatesville side here. So now we're back to Airport Road, and if you want to get over to West Adams and uh, head down that way, you can turn left anywhere along here and uh, move on over to the other streets. So that is the detour over 35 in Temple, and uh, please drive safe, be courteous, be patient, and uh, let's hope that they fin finish way ahead of schedule here in Temple. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope that makes things a little easier for you.